Yo, what's going on, guys? It is me, Straw Hat Ninja 89 here, and yeah, well, today's the day of. <coughs> I'm sorry, my voice is a little off, but yeah, a little sinus here, Aaron. But I'm not care about getting sick. I think, it's, I think it's that. I think it's that like time of the month or the year. I'm, I'm not saying for nasty wise women. I'm saying as well. <coughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So this is the this is the episode we've all been waiting for. The so-called final episode, the last episode. Fairy Tale episode 75. Now, normally I don't do anime review or manga review. I usually don't do stuff like that. But when it comes to this particular episode, when it comes to this like finale here, not finale finale, I get more of like season finale. Okay, here here are my predictions before we get started with the review. Um, before we get started with the review, I'm thinking of two predictions. One, it's gonna go on a season finale like some Saturday morning cartoons do. Um, here in America or the UK. Our number two, it can go on hiatus for like another year, I think, and then maybe the next year will come back. I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be between those two. But Harry Mashima says, uh, make sure you guys watch Fairy Tale. Um, Fairy Tale. I think it's called Repeat or Rerun or whatever it's called, which is basically just going to be reruns of the old episodes of Fairy Tale, and then it's going to lead. So, like I said, I really think this is just going to be a season finale. I don't think this is going to end it forever. And basically what it is, I think it's just going to be a season finale. I, um, a season finale. So maybe there'll be another season to Fairy Tale, Maybe in the summer, or if not in the summer, maybe we'll get it like in the fall. I'm guessing maybe in the fall we'll probably get like the next season or something like that. Like in October. Or if not, maybe one year when Anime Hats finale. Maybe like a year finale, which will be kind of stupid. And I'm, I'm really hoping it's not something like that. And just so you go to finale, it is kind of a shame, but I will admit it is a good idea to avoid all the filler. Because the last foot arc, yeah, it wasn't great. I watched it, and then it was meh. I didn't really care for it much. It was okay. I mean, yeah, granted, the, the, the OST is pretty good, but other than that, yeah, I didn't, did not really care that whole um, bringing back the Orsion to ass. It was like, yeah, it wasn't really all that interesting. Even if it were cool, but it's supposed to story with that girl from Lucy's story and whatever. Yeah, nah, 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 it was garbage. I, I really didn't really care. That's the only thing. When it comes to canon fairy tale, the anime does it right, but when it comes to fillers, not that much, kind of. But anyway, so fill it but anyway, fairy tale anime is still pretty enjoyable. But enough of that. Um, we'll get to the actual review now. I usually don't do it, but it's it's just for this special occasion, because this is the so-called final episode for now, and I'll explain why as I get to the end of it. So this review is probably not going to be all that long. Uh, but it basically is the continuation of the um, Natsu and Igneo versus. Well, now it's basically Natsu by himself because remember last time Natsu pretty much kicked, <laughs> pretty much kicked Gajiel to the side. It was actually pretty hilarious, where Gajiel falls into that car. It's like I'm going to get you, Natsu, and he's like all in the car, and then you'll find out what happens, you know, a little bit later. Not maybe not too long. So what happens is Natsu challenges Sting and Ro by himself, and basically, oh man, oh shit, this fight was so damn good. It was such an amazing fight. It was definitely one of the best fights in the tournament. I well, that and the whole Kagura fight. Um, also the one with Leon, like, and and that was good too because I liked how the anime then skipped the Leon and Kagura fight on like in the manga what they did, which kind of pissed me off a bit. Even though you know it's fairy tale, we're not supposed to take it seriously, but you know that was kind of stupid how it skipped. Like I hate how Hiromasha about to rush certain things in the tournament, but whatever, it's fairy tale. I'm used to it though. It, you know, it's whatever. I don't care. So anyways, uh, pretty much um, Nanzu and Sting Rogue going blow blow toe to toe, um, fucking amazing shit. It's just all oh, brawl. It's just crazy, and um. Pretty much, he's like, you know, um, sure, you may, he, he, Natsu's like, you know, sure, you guys may be strong, but there is something you guys do not have, um, that is very important to the guild, that is something that you and your master and all your colleagues, uh, all your guild, me uh, guild members lack, and that's the key point, is the power of, <sighs> friendship, Nakama, which, again, it's very tough, so, again, hey, we can't complain, it's power of Nakama, power of friendship, and basically, you know, we see, like, Natsu, I mean, it's Die, like pretty much defending himself against the attacks, and there was just one amazing attack that, um, what was it? Sting and Rogue did, where they combined like this unison magic thing. It kind of looks like the Rice Sengon sort of, except better than Naruto's freaking Rice Sengon. I'm just saying is all, uh, which I found it way more cooler. It's like you know why can't Naruto learn like a new Rice Sengon like that? That would have been pretty cool, but you know whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that because again. We don't want any haters on this, like I've having for the 
past freaking month or for the month now. But anyways, let's just move on from that. So anyways, um, they do this unison magic thing, like this like during the combiner energy, it's like this big ass energy fucking ball thing that they combined, which is like some unison magic, and then they go strangling up against Natsu, and then Natsu just like he just takes that shit. I'm like, oh. That was so awesome. And then he pretty much, you know, he does his famous, you know, then they do like the Iron Roar Dragon. And then they do like their combined. It was, I don't know words to describe it. It was such an amazing battle. And we actually do get to see, you know, Lecter's tears, like him crying that, no, you can't lose. You're like, you're the strongest Dragon Slayer. And I'm like, ah, oh, come on, dude, man. Come on, quit being a sore loser, because you know not so Indiana is always going to prevail. You know that. That's how fairy tales always worked. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so pretty much, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to, not. it's a simple episode. But it was it was a great way to end things in conclusion for now. So pretty much Sting and Rose, they got their asses whooped, badly. And then after that, then they announced that the final day of the tournament will be tomorrow. And pretty much they have advanced. And now Fairy Tail is number one in first place. And uh, Sabretooth is in second place. I didn't get a chance to look at the other scores. I don't really remember. But the master of, of Sabretooth was fucking pissed. He was mad. Like, you mad, bro? He was fucking mad, bro. When he, when he saw his two most, like like, most prized, like, members of the guilds, like, just being destroyed by this, by this somebody, that, like, this, like, so-called not-real dragon slayer, like, pretty much just, like, damn, he was just furious, he was pissed off, like, even the crowd that was around him, like, felt his aura, um, around him, and I don't know if he knows this, but does he kind of look like that dude from Asura's Raft? That's what he kind of reminds me of, sort of, in a bit. Ah, uh, freaking phone calls always interrupt me. Quick edit, be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, um, stupid phone call interrupted me. Anyways, um, so yeah, moving on. Um, God, I lost my place for a sec. All right, I said that the the master from Saber Two kind of looks like the dude from A Sword's Wrath. That or Akuma from Street Fighter. I've only stopped between one of the two they look like. But anyways, yeah. Um, so then after that, you know, they pretty much see they're in the recur the infirmary room. Um, Natsu and then them are saying like, yeah, you know, you be won, be won. Like we're about to head on to the finals and all that. Um, so yeah, so pretty much Lucy, uh, you know, she's pretty happy that Natsu won and like all that. So you know, kind of like a little happy. You think in some ways it is somewhat of a happy ending, but if you paid attention earlier in the episode, uh, pretty much um, Gadiel, pretty not Gadiel. Um, fuck. Jalal, sorry, I, I I fucked up. Jalal, I mean, I'm sorry. Jalal pretty much follows so what he claims to be Zeref, but you'll find out at the end of this that hmm, there's a big surprise between that. But anyways, also, like, at first you think it's somewhat kind of a happy ending, you know, yay, you know, it's over, and this and this and that, like, fairy tale will always proceed. And you're thinking that's going to be the end, because they show the end credits a little bit early, but you're looking at the time, it's like, wait a minute. There's still more time into this. Oh, so there's like five or six more minutes left of this. So it's like, okay, cool, cool. So the last five to six minutes are pretty much just big, 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 heavy mystery type of um, scenario thing that's going on. There's a big mystery going on. Uh, a really big mystery. When clearly, um, they're hearing some girl. We're hearing some girl pretty much um, um, writing this like little novel this or this letter or something saying like I remember that final day of the tournament but unfortunately we all thought this was gonna be a happy ending or whatever it's like wait what the fuck like who is this girl like apparently for people for people who you know who don't read the manga or whatever it's like who is this chick so it's like okay so then she's pretty much writing and saying you know she's like crying and writing this like sad letter it's like you know what's going on here um and then we find out that um Ua or whatever her name is, I forget, and Melody are pretty much... They, they already know that Jalal has already left to trace down what claims to be Zera, but apparently in in the shadows he sees, like... He sees... Oh, no, no, actually, no, no, before we get to that, before we get to that, I, I messed up a bit. 
we go back a little bit further back, and we find out that Gajol, after, you know, that little hilarious little roller coaster ride he went on, is like, I'm going to get you for this, Igneo. I mean, for... Or Natsu, I'm sorry. I'm going to get you for this, Natsu. Then, like, he gets up, and he sees, like, this graveyard of dragons. It's like, what the shit? And he's trying to find out, like, what is all these graveyards of dragons? Like, who's using, like, how do these dragons get up into... Like, how they die like this? Like, what's going on? So that's, like, another key mystery point. But again, for now, you're just going to have to read the manga to find out what's going on with that. And and now we're going to, like I mentioned before, get to that part. What, Like I said, what claims to be Zeref is really not Zeref. It's a female, actually. It's actually a female because you could, he could tell by the, the way of the, the feet look and, you know, the type of... um. Clo not clothing, but the type of shoes and like I guess body figure you can say like the more the more closer look at the body figure, not like inside you know like tits and ass and all that you know uh, <laughs> I'm just saying it's not like that, but you know more of like a body like figure lies you you can call it. So anyways, he finds out that it's not really Zero, but he's shaking. He's like, <gasps> wait, it can't be. It's you. Then it says doo doo to be continued, and then it's like ah man. That was the biggest cock tease of an ending. It's like, ah, oh, man. Like, damn, what a cliffhanger, man. Um, that was a really, really great way to have a cliffhanger. But it was also... Did you guys feel trolled by that ending? It's like, oh, now we're going to add a cliffhanger. Like, son of a bitch. Like, ah, damn it, man. I was really expecting to see that. Then at the very end, it just says, like, we will meet again. Like, bye-bye. And, like, whatever. And as we all know, the fairy tale anime is not going to be ending. So again, it's just going on a little bit of a hiatus break. Maybe it's just going to be a little seasonal break. Maybe it's going to be back like in October or something like that, like in the fall region or something like that. Like certain stuff does, or in the summer or in the middle of summer. But I don't really know. I don't. I don't. I don't think not yet though. But it's still a shame, even though they could have just continued with filler to get ratings. But oh uh, well, maybe the last filler didn't bring any ratings, and they just want to do what they did with Bleach and just fucking just end it right there. And plus, it's already close to the manga anyway, like about twenty something chapters away. So it is pretty close to the manga, and I don't think they want to get that closer as they are now. Um. So yeah. So that was pretty much the episode to Fairy Tale episode one seventy five, uh, battle between the two dragon slayers. Overall, it was a pretty damn good episode. Uh, one of the best ways to end off the season finale. I'm going to call it a season finale. I think this is going to be a seasonal finale. It's a great way to end the season finale and leading it into next season. And for especially for people who don't read the manga. Um, you know, people who read the manga, yes. But for others, you know, it's like a big, it's like, oh man, like what's going on? All these secrets, all these mysteries. So it's like, yeah. So, um... That's pretty much the episode right there. Uh, my overall rating for the episode, um... Uh, I can't really complain, really, to be honest. Yeah, I can't really complain. I really haven't found any complaints of the episode. I would give it maybe about... I can't really say any complaints, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe the animation-wise could have been a little better. I mean, the animation was pretty good, I mean, for the most part. Like, for the battle sequences, yeah, the animation was pretty good. And the ending thing was actually pretty good, too. Like, you see all those fire of flames going down? Like, the animation for that. Like, animation in certain sequences were pretty good. Some of it were just the decent-looking fairy tale anime like, a, like it usually is. Um, that, again, you know, A1 could have at least hamped it up more like HD, but, you know, whatever. Like, HD, HD sort of quality. But I think, on like, if you watch it on Blu-ray, or maybe if you do watch it on TV, maybe it'll look a lot better than watching it online. I think that's just my opinion, because a lot of animes are like that. Like, if you watch it more on TV, it looks a thousand times better. On the computer, it may not look appealing, but when you watch it on TV directly, it looks goddamn incredible. But overall, I would give the episode... Well, I would give it pretty much a 10 out of 10. I mean, I really can't complain. I mean, even, you know, the animation, but I can't really complain about that. I'm not too picky. I'm not a graphics horror. Um, pretty damn good. I mean, I would give it 10 out of 10, a.k.a. 5 out of 5. Um, really, really good. Very, very good. A very, very good way to end off fairy tale for now. Very good way to cock tease us for a finale. It's like, damn it. But what are your thoughts on the so called ending to fairy tale? Are you, you know, you know, sad face that fairy tale will be ending for now, just for now? I mean, unless, you know, Haramashima gives us a big old troll and be like, oh, hey, I'm working on another series, so I don't have nothing to do about the anime. If they do the same shit like Capcom with Mega Man, I will be so pissed, but I really doubt they're going to not do something like that. I mean, I highly doubt otherwise. 
like King of Lightning says, like I will go to Japan and deck them fourteen times. Like, <laughs> but uh, um, overall, I really enjoy this episode, and of course, I am gonna miss the fairy tale anime. For now, I am gonna miss it. It was one of the most entertaining shonen's I've ever watched. Um, out of mostly, well, then again, you know, One Piece is is still number one for me. But if I had to choose a number two, it would definitely go to Fairy Tail because now for me it replaced Bleach since, and this is a shame because this replaced Bleach for me since the Bleach anime ended. This actually replaced it for me, so it's like ah, what the fuck? So now when that happened, it's like I don't know what to do now because should I catch up with another anime series? Should I go like maybe with well Tariko? I don't really have to because there's not too many too many episodes. Plus I'm already getting the DVD sets, which are kind of speeding it up anyway. So yeah, um. Or should I go some... I heard Hunter x Hunter 2011 was pretty good. Maybe I'll jump the bandwagon and go into that series. And then maybe that will be basically about it. Like, I mean, I do watch Hunter x Hunter 2011. Like, I watched some of it pretty much. It, 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 it's pretty good. Um, I, I've been getting more up to date with that. So Hunter x Hunter sounds pretty good. You know, I'll watch maybe more into that. You know, so I'm just saying, like, maybe I'll watch more of that. Maybe I'll jump on the bandwagon to that. But, eh... Hunter x Hunter is good, but I don't know if I can claim it to be mostly my favorite, like I do with this, but... And One Piece, and... Well, that's about it. Oh, and now Toriko is up there now, because Toriko's pretty good. Um... So, yeah, um... Yeah, so that's basically it. Um... <laughs> yeah, so the fairy tale episode was pretty good. Um... It's a shame that it has to end so soon. Hopefully it will come back. Uh, later this year, if not, maybe it'll come back, maybe next year, one year anniversary after this, uh, finale ended, so, yeah, long live, fairy tale and give me your thoughts, comment section below, or a little video response, what did you think of the episode, did you love this episode, are you sad that you're not gonna be watching any more fairy tale for, like, a damn good while, just like, you know, we did with freaking Bleach, and it's already been a year now since Bleach is already gone, so what are your thoughts on that? Um, are you pissed off at the ending? Did you want to keep on going for, like, another spring for, like, filler-wise, if you enjoyed the last filler, that is? Um, let me know in the comment section below, or a little video response, and, yeah, so, that's all I have to say on that. So, this is Straw Hat Ninja 89, over and out, see on the bounce, peace out, anime manga fans, keep supporting what you're reading, what you watch, and peace the fuck out. And... Betty Tellu. Betty Tellu. That's all I gotta say. Well, it was a nice ride, Fairy Tale. It really was. And it's a really nice send off for a good finale. And I hope and pray that you come back to us. We miss you, Natsu. Keep fighting the good fight. The power of friendship will never prevail. Even for me being a brony, I even can say the same thing, so. Bro hoof to that. If I, if I see oh, Natsu right now, I would give him not just that hook. I would give him like a pump fist, a bro hoof, whatever. It's awesome. So, okay, signing off for real, guys. I'm getting a little bit emotional because it is, you know, kind of a little, you know, sad that this has to go like right now. But just like with Bleach. But anyways, catch you guys later. See ya.